one purpose, and that is to feed you more information about journal writing. And rather than going through one class by one class, we felt that it's easier to come here in one lecture, finish everything, then you have an idea of what is journal writing. Why? Because in term three, there's going to be a journal writing assignment that's going to take up one common test mark. I repeat again, the purpose why we are here is to brief you on how to write journals, especially those of you who just came to this school and you're not sure what is journal writing. There will be one common test mark in term three. We're going to give you one class test which is based on a common topic. Okay, so I want you all to listen very carefully during this lecture how to write well. Now, since this is a lecture style, and I think every one of you had a heavy lunch, I felt perhaps show you something interesting about mathematics that perhaps you have not been shown yet so many years doing mathematics by your teachers. So I need silence first so that you can view that. There's no need to comment on that. Just listen properly. In schools, we train you to be good in doing mathematics. But there are so many things related to the real world out there that you don't have a chance to explore. Okay, that's why I always tell my class, go and do great research. There are so many things out there. But in schools, teachers will have to teach you how to solve questions, to tackle the whole levels. Now, journal writing, uh, we come to the main point now. allows us, allows students to learn by writing, that's it, and you can talk about topics of interest, to note down your observations, to imagine, to wonder, and to write down new things that you learn, and so see them in words. That is the main frame of journal writing. In mathematics, what has it got to do we writing journal, you may ask. Now this will answer you. Now. It provides opportunities for students as a whole to learn about mathematical ideas. Alright? Now, it provides opportunities for you to write down your things in work. And you will tell me, but I know how to solve problems, that's enough. I can score full marks. Why must I write journals? If your teachers have not told you, questions in O level now are moving away from the easy questions of us asking you to apply formula. Write down, press your calculator, get the answer. Questions are moving towards open-ended kind of questions that you must write down why, show, prove that certain concepts is true. And without giving you that practice of journal writing, you don't have the confidence, you don't have the necessary skills to write down in words, mathematical terms that you know. I'm sure you encounter difficulty when you try journal writing the first time. And that's why we need to give you some practice on that. So that not only in mathematics, you have seen in sciences like physics, chemistry and bio, there's open source questions as well. Right, so please, don't take it that it is not useful. At the end of the day, everything will be counted towards your whole level grade. Okay? So by writing down, as the last slide says, it helps you to articulate your processes in words and at the same time to consolidate whatever you learn for a particular topic. Alright, now, how do you write? Now this is important. 
Later, we will have some hands-on practice on some questions on journal writing and see how you can write if that topic was given to you in the common test. Now, first of all, later I'll show you some samples. You answer to that question what they want. Okay? You can copy down up to you. Right? And you support your answers with reasons. Why do you think your answer is correct? And what teachers want to see in your answers is coherency. Whether or not you are able to organize your answers properly, it works. In paragraph, if I see you're working, will someone be able to understand what you're trying to write? Important. Use appropriate mathematical terms. Meaning, if I ask you to stick down a formula, an area, it has to be pi r squared or some other mathematical terms that is strictly correct. Don't give me your own formulas. Right? And a picture speaks a thousand words. If you can illustrate your answers with diagram to support your answer, that will be brilliant. Okay, you can support using diagram to draw up support the answer. And lastly, to think out of the box, sometimes the question can be open-ended. You link it with other areas of subjects in study or you read, you read some books, magazines that is pertaining to that question, write it down. This will score you some marks. Okay? After this slide, I will show you some samples of some journals. I think you have seen them before. I'm just trying to be ask you to really look at this question yeah. okay. um, again I need the one representative from each class to come forward just one representative will do to take the handouts okay, you need it for the next slide okay, just come if you have answered to that question good and the next part is whether or not you have provided evidence to support what you have written down there. It can be evidence, it can be proofs. Alright? If there's any illustrations, you will also be awarded marks for that. Okay, if the questions require you to be able to draw a diagram. And lastly, if you Give us some additional information that we think is we have talked really deep into the topic. Something extra. I'll show you what is something extra later. You will score a higher mark. Okay? Each journal, if you look at the rubrics, it's very small. You just look at your paper there. It's 20 marks. Alright, 15 marks goes to the quality of the content or more specifically the quality of the mathematical content that you write. Alright, and second of course we give 5 marks to how you write down in words some of your language. We need to look at how you write. Is it coherent? Can I understand what you are trying to say? So everything is worth 20 bucks for one journal. Now, so I repeat, I summarize. It's a short summary. We have done journals before, majority of you. What I'm trying to say is that how to score in term three. 
answer to the question number one, provide evidence and proofs. Number two, number three, provide illustrations or anything that unifies your journal. And lastly, any additional thing that you want to contribute to the journal, do so. Now, having said all this, let's get down to work. Look at the first question that I've given you. Okay, you have the paper. Rest assured, rest assured, factories that the topics that we'll be giving you for term three journal writing is something that you have learned previously, and you are able to write a lot. We cannot give you a very close question. 1 plus 1 equal to 2 or something asking you to solve or factorize something to give me the answer. No, we are not talking about answers now. It must be something that you can write and explain, provide evidence, draw diagram necessary. So let's say the first question before you write. You have gone through certain properties, I'm sure, all the classes. Right? Some of you have just started, but never mind. Let's say, I will want you to explain in words what are some of the properties of circles that you have learned. I'm sure you can name me plenty. Okay? Of course, I've given you the hint. Now, let's try. Now it's 3 o'clock. I give you about 10 minutes to write down without looking at the book. Let's say, if I give you this question, this is just a practice, it will not be counted. Alright? 10 minutes, your teacher will go around and help to see, to give you some help. When you plan a journal, I only give you that much of space. A kiasu person will try to squeeze whatever properties you have learned into that square. Whatever that's outside the square, I won't mark. So I say again, huh? you may want to write as much as possible, but make sure all your diagrams and words fit into the box itself. Okay, whatever that's outside, I won't.